step up and make key rebounds and getting key shots? Yeah, I, I think uh, you know in the second half, our commitment defensively. Um, was much more to our identity. And, you know, after that first time out uh, in the game, they were on their way to a 50-point first quarter, 200-point game. Uh, that was not going to be a, a great formula for us. I told the guys in the huddle, I'm, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll try, but I'm, I'm not sure we can score 201 points. Um, you know, the way there, it, it was just so easy at, at the beginning. But uh, at halftime, we, we um, regrouped and... Um, you know, I was encouraged to see the commitment, you know, to do the tougher things um, defensively. And you saw a lot of those plays in the last six minutes of the game. Multiple efforts. Uh, it's not easy with Maxi and Heald. Um, you know, they create a lot of different triggers and overreactions. Uh, and then, you know, the rebounding. This is a very good offensive rebounding team. And we were able to get a lot of those uh, in traffic, you know, down the stretch. And, um, you know, that kind of gave us some... Um, a little bit of, um, of airspace to be able to to execute on the other end without so much pressure. But guys, uh, you know, made some big plays, and um, Jaime's tip jam was uh, a big one. Um, it was a winning play for sure. Tyler and Bam, uh, you know, the last two games were, um, you know, really good at just playing winning basketball uh, on both ends of the court. And it, I, I can't see without my glasses, so I don't know what the numbers are, but. Um, you know that's that's winning basketball with three rotation guys out. It's not about the numbers. It's about securing the win and about doing things on uh, both ends of the court, which uh, they did. Eric, when Highsmith gave you tonight, was big. Yeah, he was really good defensively. You know that that's uh, and he's put together three straight games defensively where he's had a massive impact uh, on the game. And whether it was man or zone, um, it just you know his discipline. Um, his wingspan, uh, his ability to move his feet, uh, I think, was allowing us to be able to corral the ball uh, a little bit easier. So it wasn't there wasn't the necessary the necessarily straight line drives. Um, and then he hit a big three, you know, in the in the fourth quarter. And I love the the fact that he stayed with it. He missed you know some open ones, didn't get discouraged by that. And when we really needed him to knock down one, um, you know, based on how they were guarding him, he he hit a big one and the two free throws uh, as well, you know, basically to, to create a little bit of separation. The energy in the defensive end, but you could also see that energy on the offensive glass at the end. Six offensive rebounds in the fourth quarter. I think the last few points were second chance points. Just that commitment, relentless to play it to the finish. Yeah, you know, we, we talk about all the time that, you know, there's a, a little bit of a, of a conflict of you know, what the narrative is and what, what gets celebrated. You know, unfortunately, uh, you know, people just want to see big scoring, individual scoring nights, uh, but those are winning plays. You know, Bam's uh, offensive rebounds, you know those those extra possessions uh, were huge for us, and Jaime's with the tip dunk uh, was big. Both Jaime, uh, Bam, and K Love were really grappling uh, on the defensive glass in, in the zone. You know the shot would go up, and they would crash three three guys. Well, you have to go body to body. There's going to be three yards and a cloud of dust, and somebody's got to come up with the ball and and. We were able to come up with the ball uh, quite a few times uh, down the stretch, and um, and then it was fitting that uh, you know Bam was able to get the offensive rebound that kind of kind of sealed it down the stretch. It's been eight solid games in a row, six wins, competitive in all of them. Beyond just defending better, which well, that's been a big at the part of it. Your list. Beyond that, which is a huge part of it, what else has pleased you? Yeah, Everything I'm not going. I'm not going to skip over that because. Uh, you know, sometimes you have to go through that uh, end of season where you have to deal with your harsh realities. We were not defending, you know, the way uh, we needed to, and we were losing games because of it. And at, after a certain point, do you get sick and tired of being sick and tired of losing uh, and the pain of losing, and then you work towards solutions? That was the lowest hanging fruit for us was to commit to defend and do tough things. Uh, do things with physicality, with force, with toughness, and multiple efforts. And that's now seven, eight games where we've done it. Um, 
and and committing to it. And some of the games have been great offensively. Some of them have been, you know, average. But we've been able to win games either way, you know, with that. Uh, and I think that's the key takeaway from this. Uh, but, you know, from the other uh, side of it, uh, different guys stepping up uh, and making plays offensively at the, in the moments of truth. Uh, and sometimes, you know, if you want to do and achieve great things uh, in this league, uh, you you have to show up in, in big moments for your team. And we've had a lot of those moments, uh, in particular, this last uh, 48 hours. And speaking of stepping up with the guys out, Duncan steps in to start or what he's done in the last two, maybe even three games for you, just the way he can sort of ignite things or even settle things with the yeah, series. Yeah, he's been uh, fantastic. Uh with his shooting, uh, with his movement, uh, creating overreactions, uh, he's basically been doing it all. Uh, and then defensively, he's been, you know, so so, um, you know, disciplined and detailed. Uh, whether we're in the man or the zone, uh, he's been making great progress there. And uh, whenever Duncan Robinson is on the floor for us, our offense finds a way to look better. It looks better. It feels better. Uh, he helps all of our main guys. Uh, and then when you need him to make a big play, he's he's found a knack, you know, to be able to do that. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Have a great break. You too.